Before joining your Skype meeting, first check your audio settings. In the bottom left-hand corner of the Skype application, click the Select Your Primary Device menu. Scroll down and click Audio Device Settings. Here you will see your speaker and your microphone. You'll want to make sure that these are both working properly. First, you may need to select your microphone and or headset. Click this drop down and if you are using a headset that is connected to your computer, select headset. If you are using the internal microphone on your computer, select PC mic and speakers. In my case, I have a headset connected to my computer. Next, click the play button next to speaker. Be sure that you can hear the audio. The next step is to check your microphone. Begin speaking and you should see a bar moving at the left hand side. If you do not see this bar, you may need to select a different microphone. When you're finished, click OK. You'll also want to make sure that the volume is turned up on your device. OK, now we are ready to join the meeting. I'm going to open up Outlook and go to my calendar. I'm going to open up the event for the meeting. Inside the meeting event, you will see a link called Join Skype Meeting. Simply click this link to get into the meeting. There is another way to join Skype meetings, and you can do this directly from the Skype application. With the Skype application open, you can click the calendar icon here. This will show your upcoming meetings. Simply click here to join your meeting. When you click join meeting, your Skype meeting window will open. You will be asked, when joining the meeting audio, would you like to use Skype for business, audio and video? Or would you like to have someone call you? In this case, leave the default selection to use Skype for Business. Click OK. In addition, you can check this box if you do not want to see this message in the future. Your Skype meeting will load. At this point, you can go into full screen mode and you will begin to see the participants. Notice that a message popped up at the bottom saying that my mic was muted. You'll see this indication at the bottom. The microphone icon has a slash through it. This means that I am muted. So the folks on the other end cannot hear when I speak. I need to click this to unmute my voice. Now the folks on the other end can hear my audio. If someone comes into your office or room during the meeting and is making some noise, you can mute your microphone. Take care of the noise and then unmute when you're ready to speak again. You'll also notice the video icon. If you would like to show your video during the meeting, click the camera icon and click start my video. Now, the folks on the other end can see your face. This makes the experience much more engaging because we're able to read each other's facial expressions. Okay, now there is another piece you'll want to see within the meeting room, and that is on the far left side. You will see a little message speech bubble in the, in the bottom left corner here. This is the chat or instant messaging, and this is useful this is useful, especially if other people are talking and yet you want to say something. You can bring up the instant messaging window. It will pop up on the side and you can begin asking questions. This is also useful if for some reason um, you cannot hear the folks on the other end or they cannot hear you. 
you can type in here to let them know. Hit enter to send your message. So remember that you can use voice, video, and also instant messaging during your meeting. Typically, the presenter will also be sharing their desktop when they want to show you a document. And also remember that if you need to bring up something else on your computer, you can always minimize this window or shrink it down and move it out of the way. Okay, I hope this was helpful and enjoy your Skype meetings. Bye-bye.